These Paul Smith students are demonstrating a method of preventing the emerald ash borer from infecting trees. It is time consuming and expensive. Senator Gillibrand announced a new plan to prevent the disease from doing any more damage. New invasive species like the emerald ash borer are too often being discovered in New York's forests and waterways. They harm our water supply and our trees, they hurt our food industry, and they ultimately can have a very harmful effect on human health. We need to do more to prevent harmful invasive species from coming into New York from overseas. She said that the federal government and local governments have partnered with conservation groups like Nature Conservancy to solve the problem through legislation. The bill will require the Fish and Wildlife Services to do an analysis of whether non-native animal species has the potential to become invasive and harmful to our trees and waterways here. This would happen before the species is imported into our country. The bill would also make a new process for classifying wildlife species as in injurious. It would allow the Fish and Wildlife Service to take emergency actions to ban non-native wildlife like the emerald ash borer that pose an imminent threat to our environment. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service are limited in regulating non-native plants and animals. They're working under outdated 100-year-old regulations. Stegman said that Gillibrand's way is the fastest route to get in front of the problem. It's not the only invasive species we have. As you all know, we have the, woolly, the hemlock woolly adalgid, and then we have a whole host of, of uh, aquatic invasive species. Many believe that her proposal is a cost-effective way of approaching the declining ash tree situation. Yeah, with the emerald ash borer, uh, it's really a, a dire situation because it, it, this is an insect that will kill the ash trees. And some trees are perhaps more valuable than others if they're on landscaped portions of the property. And so there is technology available for injecting an insecticide into the vascular system of the tree to protect the tree. And so our students are getting trained in that. They will go out and work for people throughout the Northeast learning who are doing this type of work. Um, and um, you can say it will protect the tree for about two years. They say maybe even three, so it might have to be injected again. It's not something that's going to work for a million ash trees in, in, the, uh, in the Adirondack Forest, but on individual trees, it is one of the tools that we have available. Swanson said that it cost about $200 per tree to protect them. Losing ash trees could have a long-term effect on the forest. The species that are here now, things like emerald ash borer, maybe 5% of the upland forest in the Adirondacks is ash. So if we lose all the ash trees over the next 50 years, that's hundreds of thousands of acres. It's a small percentage of the whole forest, but if something attacks the maples, something else attacks the spruce and the balsam, then we have a cumulative impact that really worries us. The State Department of Environmental Conservation is working on the emerald ash borer problem. For Mountain Lake Journal, I'm Jack LeDuc at Paul Smith College.